Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Ritz, welcome back to some more ARK on the Twitch subscriber ARK server, and today we are going to be building a kind of a dock bridge thing and talking about the new update that's coming out. Probably by the time you guys see this, it should be live. It's probably going to take a little while as usual, but uh, they have the patch notes up and I figured I'd give you guys a rundown of my thoughts on a couple of things that stood out to me is uh, could be all right, could be really bad. Um... <laughs> So, been grinding for a little bit. Uh, got a bunch of wood supplies over here in this chest. Uh, set up so I can build a nice little uh, little dock because I've been moving, or I'd started to move. Um, Craig, hopefully still alive, I have no idea. Uh, I haven't checked on him in like half an hour, waiting for daytime. But I've basically been putting him out into basically deep ocean in the middle of nowhere and hoping that he uh, can find, you know, a nice little place to to attack stuff while I'm gone and still level up. So I don't have to check on them as often. Especially because I'm going to be gone this next weekend. So I got some foundations. And I definitely don't need that much many pillars right now. Um, if anything, I'm just going to take two of these. Uh, I know there's probably a way easier way to do that. But that's how I'm going to do it. Because I am a traditionalist and a creature of habit. So right away, kind of, I basically want to take either from right here i haven't decided yet honestly um i think it might be right here or a little bit farther to the left and i want to take the this little bridge all the way to the edge of this water here so i just have to go straight down and up to get to craig because i feel like that's a lot easier than swimming down and over across it's so slow especially because it's like i'm just going to be leaving him down um let's maybe double check make sure yeah it's him right there um double check that he's still down there and obviously, eventually, if I go farther down, that'd be kind of cool to be able to go that far. And I'm pretty sure you can't because I was having trouble uh, when I first made the dock to get my uh, my Kara. When Kara like had the glitch flying over the water, and there's the dock across all the way across uh, to the mainland over yonder, where uh, over there, all the way over there, um, it wouldn't let me make it go any farther. It just it glitched out and wouldn't let me. So I guess first things first, we gotta find a good spot for it. And obviously, the shortest distance is probably the best. However, uh, I don't want it to be like such a little thing. Unless, of course, I build a nice little uh, hut here, too. It's like a, a temporary hut. And I have some work I want to do on that after we're done. Um, and one of the big things I want to do, I think, is just get rid of this rock. I don't think I can. I can't get rid of this rock. Nope. Okay. Well, that throws a kink in that plan. I think because this stuff's already here, I'm just going to build it just a little bit to the left. Right around here. Um, you know, I can kind of put this, sometimes it'll let me put it out just a little ways farther than it was, you know, that kind of thing. Um, but I like the idea of, like, basically having it be right on the water. Like that. And then have us go out this way. So let's get to it. Nothing to it, don't you do it. Nothing to it but to do it. And I made two just in case I wanted to go farther out, um... There's sometimes a plant or uh, a chance that you can kind of go like right out next to it or that I could like go there. But, you know, what? I don't really care, to be honest. Um, for now, we're just going to go basically straight to it. That doesn't even look like that doesn't even look correct. Uh, that looks just super wonky and weird. But you know what? I don't know why everyone always comments on my wood, wood, wood looks weird. I don't honestly see it. I don't know what the problem is, but maybe that's just me. And I honestly have no idea if I'm going to have enough. We're probably going to have to spend a good chunk of today uh, actually just getting enough of these. I may as well just grab this one here. Um, what's my weight? Is enough that I can probably still swim, right? Yeah. So, like, in case you guys are wondering, and you can't, you know, there's no support, so I can't build right there. And uh, I know there's probably a faster way. Like, I, I'm sure I could put the pillars first if I could line them up properly. But I honestly don't have that much trust in myself. That's given myself a lot of credit that I don't have. And I actually, I'm thinking about it. I do not have nearly enough pillars to make it all the way down. Assuming it'll even let me go all the way down. So you kind of have to go like this down into the ground. Um, hell, I don't even know if I need to go farther. I'm going to check and see if I can go any higher. Um... See, that could work. If not, I mean, I didn't even test this. This could not even work. I'm really sad, but hopefully this will work. I've had problems with this before where just there's a limit that how far deep, how deep it can go. And uh, kind of sucks. Also, it seems, now that I'm looking at it, 
we have nowhere near enough of these pillars. Like, uh, encumbered. That'll make me less heavy, right? I'm at 140. Oh, fuck. Uh, well, shitter, shitter titters, man. Obviously, we're going to need less. I think I needed less ceilings and more. Fuck, I'm still encumbered, really? All right, well. Um, just go down piece by piece and hope that I can, like, even if I can go down, like, just one, like, two more sets farther with this, I would probably be happy enough with it. Like, yeah, oh shit, I, is that even connected? That's not even fucking connected, dude. Yeah, we're going to need a hell of a lot more of these, assuming this works. I've had it, I've, you know, the other one wouldn't let me go any farther and I connected it to the ground before, so... They might have fixed it. Who knows? Uh, but already, what, like maybe a quarter of the way? I think I definitely didn't figure out how far this was. Mm, shitters. I'm going to have a very fun time collecting more of this on camera for you. At least to show you guys the progress. And then maybe I'll uh, skip ahead for the next video. Uh, just to show you guys it done or whatever. Or however far I got. I haven't decided yet. I'll let y'all know. Jesus Christ, we vote one more. As far as we can go, really? Uh, okay. Well, you know. At the very least, it gets me much farther than it was before. Um, so, we're what? Two, four, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, there's, there's, there's one thing that I could do. Because there's supposed to be two between it. Um, I could try. And it could possibly fuck up everything. Uh, just destroying this foundation. This pillar here. And this foundation set. And then move them. And then do that. Because it needs to have two. Obviously it was supposed to be here. And I couldn't put it here. So if I put this here. Maybe it's going to be a little wider. Honestly I have no fucking idea. But I'm going to take it from the top down. And hopefully be able to place another one of these. Maybe it'll be a little more effective. Let's demolish the ceiling. Okay. Demolish the pillar. Demolish. The, oh, no. That's the ceiling. Uh, Let's see. Can. Perfect. Cool. So let's like that never happen. And I can kind of keep going and make more of these as we go. I do, however, have to make sure I'm going from the top to the bottom. Otherwise, nothing's going to work. And then I'm going to cry her real bad. So this is kind of like the most effective way, at least I found, to make this work and to get all of the, uh, I guess the materials back that you need to build this properly, maybe. I don't even know, man. I'm just kind of trying to figure out a way to make this happen. Oh, I'm encumbered, motherfucker. Can I at least swim up for air? Not that I need it right now, but, yeah. So we know we basically put one in the middle and then we just destroy it for more later. Cool. Um... Just make, make three more. That's not enough, but that's a good start. Uh, as you guys will see. Yeah. Kind of wish it didn't have to, like, have that overlap spot, but I understand why they do. Like, I'd like to just be able to go like that, but no. All right, so that's as far as we can make it right now. Obviously, those are going to get destroyed again later, but for now. Oh, God, I have, like, no fiber, do don't I? Fucker nutter. It's actually mainly just fiber we need now, which honestly is its kind of fine, but it's not. I mean, it's fine enough. But uh, I did say I was going to talk about the upcoming patch notes. And so while we're gathering this, I guess we can do that. And I should probably like refill this water or something. I don't know. I should just start using my water jugs and leave these here. Uh, but the, um, the next patch, so far, there's still more to come. It's supposed to come out of 5 a.m. EST, which is actually like pretty soon. Probably by the time I get this uploaded, it would be about there. And, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I recorded for seven hours today. So, my voice is just shot, and I'm exhausted. I got up at 10 a.m., recorded until 5 p.m., did a quick short stream, and then, uh, like a short two-hour stream, and then, uh, took a like, nap because I'm so exhausted, and, you know, my voice is fucked, basically. But, uh, yeah, so that, if you guys wonder why my voice is all fucked, that's why. But, uh, so the patch is coming out. It's 184, or 184.0 patch, um, and, uh... Metal spike walls, now the correct structure damage type, weak metal rather than wood. Um, don't know what that means. And have correct scale destruction mesh. The absolute max inventory of 200 items has been raised to 300. Now it is respected to avoid 
um and is now respected to avoid losing items when transitioning between inventories which is honestly like kind of what i would have expected to begin with uh i know 200 like seems like a lot but it's really not and uh especially if you die and have to get your body and still have stuff to get your body so you know what have you especially if you somebody else grabs your body for you and then brings you your stuff that kind of thing um so blueprints can never no longer stack they weren't intended to that's fine i mean if you have two blueprints for something just keep the better one i mean i think the blueprints each have like different stats on them themselves so that would make sense that they don't stack because the stats are so different so i'm totally honestly i'm totally okay with that makes a lot of sense to be honest and uh Players cannot choose to display chat as character name, tribe name, chat, or steam name, character name, chat. Um, I don't know. I really don't use the chat much. Uh, the feature's there. You know, it's there. Some of these, some of these usually on the server at all times. But uh, a lot of times, you know, not much is going on. Especially, like, I record this late at night. So, like, there's no one really to talk to. I just, generally just use it to be like, hey, guys, the, this is what's up. Uh, heading to bed. Or patch coming. Or appreciate you guys subscribing. Yada, yada, yada. You guys don't need to know all those details. Only the subscribers get to know what this, those details are. Uh, they uh, also added uh, improved the look of stone materials underground and improved metal materials. Don't really know what that means, but I'm sure assuming it means that just stuff looks prettier underground and just other stuff looks pretty in general. Uh, they added a craft all button that will craft queue as many instances of blueprint engram as the inventory has resources for. Uh, that'd be awesome for me to be able to do when I'm like, say, making narcotics or uh making spark powder or something just to be able to take them all and just be like make this all thank you like i really don't want to sit here for 20 hours or however long it ends up being because it's going to be a lot obviously uh to click through until it's done and stops letting me make it like it's just a little makes things easier especially for like even for like uh arrows obviously don't want to make a, a ton of arrows all the time but like sometimes we prep and we'll make like 100 arrows and just to be able to like do that automatically would be fucking rad um Let's see, let us see. Got a message and trying to like not look at things. Uh, they had a minor client GPU performance improvement. This game's playing a lot better. I mean, I'm recording right now at 43 frames. We're playing at 43 frames, recording at 30. Um, if this game ever caps or hits 60, like with my setup, then I'm going to be recording at 60 if possible. Uh, if not, I mean, I want to save up and get a really nice, uh, uh, a nice 780 Ti at some point. I have a, or a 980 Ti. I have a 780 Ti currently. Like to upgrade, just get some stuff a little bit better, and uh, make the game look prettier and play better. And I'll put all the rest of the shaders and stuff on eventually. But uh, the next thing that they've had in the patch notes, kind of, it it makes sense, but it still kind of bothers me. Um, and and I'll tell you why once I read you off. So basically, they say 40 second cooldown on blood pack usage, 10 minute spoiling time in a fridge. It's 100 times that, so it would be instead of 40 second or uh, 10 minutes. It'd be a thousand minutes. So that makes sense. Um, you know, you can still farm them if you have a fridge. You just leave them in the fridge and grab them before you go on an adventure. That's that's fine and dandy. You know, that makes sense. They don't want people, you know, just having a thousand of these that never expire ever. And, you know, it's kind of more of a higher tier thing anyways. But the thing that I have a problem with is the 40 second cooldown on the blood pack usage. Because... Like, obviously, we've stacked up a bunch ourselves, and before we log off, we generally use the... We basically make ourselves die using the blood packs, and then log off, and everything's fine and dandy. Uh, and then we can use those throughout the day. If we get attacked by something, we have low HP, we only you know, just use four or five of them real quick. Get our health back. It's totally fine. Uh, and if we have to wait 40 seconds for each one, and each of these grants, what is it, 25, right? 25 fucking health, basically? Uh, it takes 25 minutes, 25, yeah. That's fucking garbage. For somebody who has a 300 health, if I get knocked down by something like, a, like say, Broodmother, for example, and I get, you know, knocked down to half health, I have to sit there and use one and hide for 40 seconds while, while waiting to use it. And then after, after you know, a minute and, was a minute and 10 seconds and 20 seconds, I'm so bad about it. minute and 20 seconds, you know, I then have 50 HP back, which is, you know, a portion of it. But that's a lot of time that, like, if I'm solo, I'm fucked. If I can't do anything. And I think that I'm ho well, I'm hoping what they're doing is they're doing this for the time being. So that in the future, and uh, in, in the, in the, at least maybe in the near future, you'll be able to... Uh, well, let me just find this. I need way more than this, don't I? Yeah, I need more wood. Um, in the near future, you'll be able to uh, make like uh, med, med syringes or something. 
or something better than a blood pack that heals more faster like maybe heals uh i don't know uh 50 hp and has a cooldown of 20 seconds and then like a top of the tier thing that heals like 100 hp in uh you know in like 15 seconds or something but like super resource intensive like super hard to make much more higher tier and i think that that would definitely balance it a lot more especially for boss fights or going to cave solo like obviously this game is made to be played with group but a lot not everyone has that not everyone has the internet connection to play this online and can do that and i think that making it more fair for them is ideal and having it basically be like yeah you're basically screwed if you want to do any of these higher tier, tier caves ever because if you're solo you're fucked and I think that, you know, them just t tweaking it or, you know, doing something like that would be appreciated. And I'm assuming, obviously, I assume that they're going to do, you know, kind of like what I'm saying. And I, I think that that makes the most sense down the line. It kind of sucks that if they are doing that, that they've already patched with or they're patching with this and don't have the new stuff yet. Uh, but that's just kind of, you know, things that I would think about if I was designing this game. It was like, all right, well, what's fair for everyone and like obviously they're basically abusing this we should just make it so it's harder for them to use it bare bones but down the line they can get better ones and everything's fine you know i i think that that's going to be a lot better and a lot more uh i don't want to say like intensive because i feel like that's totally the wrong word and i'm just flipping my words anyways i don't know why i grabbed all of those because i can only go two more right now regardless but uh you know just just thinking ahead and thinking of making the game still fun and not super grindy because the game obviously right now is grindy and it's kind of an mmo in that sense but i'd like it like at least for now i'd like to be able to get to kind of the closer oh, i left wooden here i'm stupid did not know that i did that i also have way more stuff than i thought i need thatch is what i'm gonna need to make more of these and obviously some more wood too but thatch is gonna be kind of important i have like 30 or so of it uh but yeah there's there's gotta you know make everything a little bit nicer for everyone who can play and kind of find a way to balance it they, they rebalance things pretty quickly so i'm pretty sure uh not even if enough people complain but if people talk about it and are like hey here's some ideas i think that'll make this a little more balanced they will go with it and you know they listen to the community pretty much all the time i mean they changed back the resource gathering with uh, the over damage resource gathering that made the game a hell of a lot harder and they kind of repatched that and then re-nerfed it to a decent thing i think it's fine now Obviously, it was definitely overpowered for a while, uh, and stuff was just not fair. So I'm glad that they uh, did patch it. But I don't know. That could just mean. Let me know what you guys think about the blood pack things. Uh, they also have gates now because they're core structures that you can't build next to an enemy anymore, and you can no longer pick up the brood mother with flyers. And everyone's always talking in my comments like, "Ritz, you can tame the brood mother." Yada yada yada. Blah blah blah. No. Okay. L l listen, listen, Han, Linda, honey, listen. Um, so the way that the brood mother works, or the taming in this game works be able to knock it out and do stuff and uh while some people say that broomler is tameable yes you can force tame basically anything using a console command and you can ride it but there's no saddle and so if you see anyone riding around with uh, a brood mother or anything after like, we tamed it now we're riding it uh they're full of shit because you need a saddle to ride things and uh apparently with that force tame thing i was reading up on it because i was like i want to figure out like what gets the bottom let's see what the fuck the deal is actually and how, why things do things or why white people say that it's a possibility and obviously uh when you force tame uh you can ride them without a saddle so uh kind of good to know for me because i had this idea for either a second server or something or a mod maybe work with a mod maker uh that have to use a force tame kind of thing that uh would be kind of cool i think basically i'm not gonna talk about it here but you would need uh, a bunch of players and the ability to force tame dinosaurs quickly and then battle them out so that's a thing i have in my head i kind of want to launch it or something like that i think that'd be really cool but uh i honestly don't know yet how it's gonna work and obviously i don't know any coding or anything so i have <laughs> no plans on actually getting that done anytime in the future because i am so bad at everything um and i know we're running kind of a little bit long today and because i think i'm only able to do one a day right now i'm you know just gonna do one a day uh and keep them maybe a little bit longer i know you guys do like uh when i try to get two of these out a day you obviously like the solo videos i mean the the views almost doubled in the first day what the ones got from the last week Fucker nutter. not enough i need two more maybe maybe three probably two maybe three um but i do know you guys like jesus christ i hate the fog the fog's the worst 
um you like it when there's more content of this and i try to get it out but like i said i'm leaving on thursday for a camping trip and i'm gone thursday friday saturday sunday monday so i have to get uh if, if even possible before the next big patches come out which could be sometime this weekend and without missing a lot of stuff i'm hoping to get at least one video for thursday friday saturday sunday monday which is five videos instead of 10 because 10 videos not gonna lie that's a lot to get done and like rendering that those 10 videos are about an hour each that's 10 hours of rendering just for arc let alone anything else i want to render so plus editing and recording and all that like you gotta you gotta realize like hey, there's only so much i can do when it comes to videos before i run myself uh rampant so like I did all of my Gmod and extra duck game and just other random stuff today. Uh, hopefully we'll get a little bit more of that tomorrow. And then basically Wednesday is going to be my render and upload. Holy shit, Toronto Dawn nearly gave me a heart attack. Don't know how or why it did. It should not have, but it did regardless. So that was uh, just a uh, swell. So that's two. I'm just going to make enough for a third just on the off chance that I need it. And uh, I'm kind of liking this whole thing so far. I think it's a cool design. And I like where we're going with it. I really only have one more, right, to make, right? And then we're good. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, walk faster, you son of a bitch. Cool, there we go. Oh, excuse me. But um, if you guys have been enjoying this videos, please leave a like. It does help me out significantly more than you guys probably realize. Uh, a lot of our, uh, a lot of our, like, analytics and stuff and, like, ways that people find our videos has to do with likes and comments and that kind of stuff. So that's why I try to, you know, I don't want to ask for likes, like, if you get uh, 70 likes, if we get 200 likes on this video, it's going to go public at this time. Because that's fucking shitty, and nobody likes channels that do that. So I kind of want to keep it, like, please, if you want to leave me a like, I appreciate it. If you want to give me just like, whatever, dude, it's your prerogative. Like, I don't really care. <laughs> I'm being completely honest. As long as there's just some interaction. I'm, I'm much happier now that we're doing ARC, and that there's, I just want to see if this works. I don't think it's going to. No, I didn't think so. But I want to test anyways. Uh, but now that we have like this community built up, I'm a lot happier with how the content's going, how the interaction's going, and I feel like we're definitely building community here, which is holy shit, so awesome, and it makes me feel good. And this fucking pier, man, I kind of want to like wish I could build stuff on the pier eventually, like a shack, like a fish shack or something like that. Uh, that would be kind of cool. Uh, I have enough things for two more. I don't have enough pillars, obviously, to get all the way there. But this is halfway. This is way more than I thought it was going to take to get this. So obviously, I have to rethink the design, possibly. I don't know. But like I said, if you guys want to leave a like on this video, it would be much appreciated. Helps me out. Comment with you guys want to think, or comment with whatever you guys think about the, the video, about the stuff I talked about, about the patch, what you guys think about the blood packs. I honestly would like to see uh, my idea with the med packs and stuff work, but... Uh, we'll leave this here, and maybe I'll just gather uh, offhandedly while I'm rendering, and then we'll record another one for uh, Wednesday. And then maybe by maybe by Wednesday I can try it. No, there's no way it's going to happen. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to be out of, out of patch time. We'll figure something out, guys. I'll try to do my best to get you guys arc every day. If, if not two, two is pushing it, but you know, regardless. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, friend my name is Ritz, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Here we go. Stay over there. You might want to take some drinks because you're you're gonna... Baron's trying to put a bookshelf together, it looks like. Hey. Okay, bye! Hey. Later! <laughs> hey, come back! Fallout 4. Holy fucking shit. Holy fucking shit. Now they had a little bit of a trailer coming out right before E3, so I got me a little pumped.